Good morning or afternoon from wherever you're dialing in. Welcome to this Pendo for Mobile webinar. I'm Emily Miller from our sales engineering team and I'm located in the Raleigh, North Carolina office. Following this webinar, we'll be sending out the recording. I encourage you to ask any questions via the Q&A chat feature. At the end of this webinar, I'll tr try to answer as many questions as I can. We'll also have a team that will be answering these questions throughout. During this webinar, we'll be demonstrating how you can accomplish some mobile specific use cases, as well as how we can answer a few questions that are key to a successful mobile experience and business. Before we dive in, let's discuss why did we build Pendo for mobile? The reason is because the user journey with mobile applications can be understood and optimized with the right analytics and guidance capabilities. Basically, Pendo for Mobile is helpful for any company with a mobile application that's looking to understand and guide users through a seamless product journey on any device. The first question we'll answer in the demo is how can we collect and analyze user behavior within a mobile application? We'll cover how tagging pages and features in a mobile app with retroactive analytics sets you up to immediately collect and analyze application, application usage. Second, we'll go over how can we use Pendo to understand how users navigate between web and mobile applications. To dive in deeper, we'll look at what insights can we glean from the user journey in a mobile environment and are users navigating the app in the order we hope. We'll then look at how do we dig into the user journey and use our findings to turn our mobile application into a growth engine. Basically, how can we use product insights to identify different usage of mobile and web applications and, and assess how this impacts our account retention and expansion goals. And lastly, how can we use all of that insight to, and create in-app guidance that gives users a better overall product experience? So we'll show you just how to build out this, these walkthrough guides and show users how to utilize your application. So without further ado, I'll jump into our mobile demo. Looking at my screen here, we're in the Pendo application. As I mentioned before, we'll, we'll start by showing you how we begin to collect data in the first place. Pendo for mobile is installed in your application via SDK. Once it's installed in your application, we'll start tracking screen views and element clicks automatically. All you have to do is come into the Pendo application and go through a simple tagging process to surface up the data in the UI. I'll show you how to do that now. I'm gonna select my mobile application and launch our designer. This is gonna take you through a pairing sequence in which you can connect your device. Um, if you have your application physically running on a phone, you can use a QR code or you can enter the uh, URL into Safari to launch our designer within your app. Over here, you'll see that I have our demo application running in a simulator using Xcode. This icon at the top, this is our Pendo designer, which will allow you to capture pages in app. For this demo, I'm gonna uh, capture our dashboard page here. So I'll just click this button and what that's gonna do is take a screenshot of this page and capture any elements that are clickable on this page and send them back to Pendo. I'll save this as a new page and then I'll name my page. I'm also gonna assign my page to a group. Grouping in Pendo is a way of organizing similar features and pages together. So I'll assign this to the dashboard group. 
Next, I'll show you how to tag features. Over here to the right, you'll see the screenshot that I just took with our designer. To tag a feature, I'll simply hover over the elements in my UI and you'll see these blue boxes that appear. These are different elements that I can tag. I'll go ahead and tag this add new button. So I'm gonna name my button add new and then I'm gonna assign it to a group. One of the key things about Pendo is that we've been, uh, we've been tracking these events since day one of install. So with our retro retroactive analytics, when you come in here and you save a new feature, we're gonna go back in our pool of data and surface that up to you in the, in the UI. So this allows you to prioritize and tag the important things first and then come back later and you can tag others. I'm gonna go ahead and tag another feature while we're in the dashboard. So I'm gonna click this accounts tab here. So I'll name it again, accounts tab. And then maybe instead of putting this on the dashboard, I'm actually gonna put this in the navigation group since it's part of our navigation at the bottom there. And so I will save this feature as well. As you can see, this is quick, a quick and easy tagging process that will allow you to identify what's important for you to track. I'm gonna go ahead and hop out of here and come back to our Pendo application. Now that we have a few pages and features tagged, we can easily see data on what's been captured. Here I can see the name of my pages as well as the group that they're in. I can see the number of visitors and the accounts that have visited these pages, as well as the number of page views. So I can see what pages maybe aren't being visited at all and what are being visited the most. Up here at the top, I can filter by my mobile application if I just wanna see pages for that application. And you can see here, this is the page that I just tagged. Additionally, up here in the filters, we have this segment filter. Segmentation in Pendo allows you to create a lens for how you view your data. When you create a segment in Pendo, you can carry it across the whole platform from the analytics, whether you just want to view paths and funnels for a specific cohort of users, or in guidance, so you can target your specific in-app messaging to those cohorts of users. So for instance, I'm looking at my admins here. So I'm seeing their page views by admin. Next up, I'm gonna show you how can we use Pendo to understand how users navigate between web and mobile applications. So I'm gonna jump here into our behavioral analytics, specifically paths. Paths allow you to ask the open-ended question of where are my users going and where are users coming from? So if I click into this, how users get to the mobile dashboard path, I can see down here, this is my mobile dashboard and I wanna know where are users coming from before they get here. 38% of my users have no previous step. That means they're just logging into the application and going to the dashboard. If I walk down the side here, I can see a number of my users are coming from the opportunities page and clicking the dashboard tab button. Additionally, this red area here shows that users are also coming from the dashboard in our Pendo Experience web application. When I click into here, we'll expand it out and show you even more detail on that user journey. You can utilize this uh, to see why are users leaving uh, one application to continue in the other? Is this intentional or is it a pain point or maybe a friction point that you can solve for? Next, I'm gonna dive into our dashboards. In Pendo, you can create a number of dashboards and you can specify these um, based on any initiative or any campaign that you're running. For instance, we have this feature adoption dashboard, which shows us, uh, shows us what, how, or shows us how to use, um, understand feature adoption in our platform. Using this widget, I can see 45% 
of features make up 80% of all feature clicks. I can also segment this dashboard to a specific subset of users or spe a specific application. Down here below, I can see the name of the application or the name of the feature as well as what group it's in. This is a key area where you can identify um, some of the important areas of your application that are driving adoption and users are continuing to come back to. Additionally, on the dashboard, I can set goals. So for instance, if I wanted to measure if a feature is successfully being adopted, or if I just recently released a feature and I want to set a goal for that adoption, either an ongoing goal or a time-bound goal, I can do that and continue to monitor over time. And then maybe if I'm not hitting my goal, this is an opportunity to provide some of that in-app messaging and guidance. This is where the analytics side really ties, into, ties nicely into the guidance in Pendo. Using analytics to make data-driven decisions or backing up in-app guidance. So jumping over here into our guides, I'll show you how can we use in-app guidance to provide users with a better product experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new guide. I'm going to select my PE mobile application, and then I can choose from any of the layouts that we have here. All of these layouts can be customized more once I choose one of them. Additionally, if you do have a specific format for your guides, you can create one and save it as a saved layout, and then you don't have to recreate the wheel every time. You can always reuse that. I'm going to name my guide, and before I show you how we can customize this guide, down here at the bottom you can see the activation where you'll identify, does this, app, does this guide show on app launch? Is it something that pops up after a user navigates to a specific page or interacts with a specific element? Additionally, you can see our segmentation here, which will allow you to identify the target audience. Is this new feature announcement for everyone or is it just for a subset of users? I'm gonna now manage my guide in app so that I can customize it for this specific feature announcement. I can choose to use the default theme or I can create my own custom, custom theme. Down here, you'll see different styles that I can adjust like the background, border, uh, padding, if there's a close button. So I can um, choose how I really want that to look and feel. Within our guide, you can see that it's made up of building blocks. So this is a text building block. Here's an image building block. Um, additionally, here's one of our buttons. And maybe for this new feature, I actually want to add two buttons rather than one. The first button will just close out the guide. The second button is actually going to take the user on a product journey and show them where this new feature lives and how to utilize it. So this is going to take the user to the next step of the guide. To add another step to my guide, I'll just come up here and click add step. This will take me back to the layouts page where I can choose my next layout. One thing that we're really excited about that's recently been released is our tooltips. So I'm going to choose this tooltip smart helper. Here I'll select which page it goes on. Since I'm going to pop up this on the dashboard page, I'm going to select the tooltip to be on the dashboard page and to target one of these tabs down here. So we're going to announce um, we're going to announce this guide on the contacts page. So this is going to take the user, direct the user to click on the contacts tab and go to the contacts page. I'm then going to add another step. On the contacts page to direct the user to the add new contact.
Now I'm going to add some text to my guide. So let's click add new. And now I have a three step walkthrough guide showing the user that we've now added this new way of adding contacts and so showing them where that lives in the product. To preview this guide, I can come up here to the top and click preview and test full flow on device. Jumping back over here to my simulator, you can see that the guide popped up. And so we'll click try it. And now it points out the contacts tab here. And when I click the contacts tab, we navigate to the contacts page and show the third step of the guide. This, is, this will allow you to add contextual messaging uh, that goes along with any new feature and teaches user how they should be using it. When you have uh, guidance and insights, you can make changes to your app that improves the ex experience or even changes to the user workflow in major ways and then direct them and show them how to continue to use it. That concludes our current uh, demo portion of the webinar. Something that is, or a couple of things that we're working on that are coming soon is support for React Native applications, um, in-app guidance for React Native applications, as well as adding a backdrop to our, uh, our in-app guidance and um, being able to customize the animations. And now I'd like to open it up to any Q&A. The first question is, what happens if we don't tag all our features when we set it up? That's a great question and no big deal at all. Um, with our retroactive analytics, it gives you the opportunity to focus on important features at first. And then whenever you're ready to go in and tag um, tag another feature, whether it's six months down the road or a year down the road, we'll surface up that data from the day of install in our application. Second question, if the same person uses our customer portal on our website and the portal mobile app with the same features, how do we tell if they were on website or mobile? So with our multi-app, um, functionality, you'll be able to filter by either the mobile application or by the web application. Additionally, whenever you're viewing your feature analytics, you can um, identify a column that will show you whether it's part of the mobile app or part of the web app, um, and you can also color code these. Next question, can you force users to download and update to, an, to the app with one of these guides? Yes, that's a great use case um, for our in-app guidance. So you can provide, whenever a new uh, update is available, you can use our Pendo guide to tell the user this update is available and that they need to start using the new version. You can also force it by um, identifying the version of your app and not letting users dismiss it until they have it. Next question, um, does that still allow us to use all features that were demoed here? Yes, that still does allow you to use all the features that you saw here today. Um, those are available in our Pendo for mobile. And that concludes our Q&A. We thank you all for your time today and we'll be sending out this recording shortly.